It's seven. Or it's three thirty p.m. Eastern time on ESPN. BYU heads to Baylor. Uh, Baylor is a six and a half point favorite right now. Of course, the odds provided by BetUS. Again, click the link in the description to get signed up over there. Fifty and a half is the total. Baylor number six in EPA per play margin and number ten in quality drive ratio. They are. Like really, really good. Like their their offense kind of disappeared for a little bit after they finally put some stuff on film uh, after those first three drives against Iowa State. But they got the Iowa State win, and then they lost to Oklahoma State, who has one hell of a defense. I, Baylor is is pretty good. I mean, they are pretty good. Baylor is. I mean, their offense is great. Jeff Grimes came over from BYU last year. He led that that unit with Zach Wilson and that bunch to an eleven and one record. And they were, they were wiping the floor with a lot of teams. Now he comes over to Baylor, and what he's done is basically set this team up very much in a Bill Belichick fashion. We've talked about it before. He doesn't ask his quarterback to do stuff that he can't do. Like He just finds what he's good at and makes him do that. And they kind of hide Jerry Bohannon, Gary Bohannon, whatever his name is. They kind of hide him, and they don't make him risk anything. He has zero turnover-worthy throws thus far this season. And the offensive line is playing insanely well, especially considering that they were so bad last year. Uh, and it's the same guys. So you know that they have been taught this offseason. I, I like Baylor a lot, but I will tell you this. The BYU defense is something to be reckoned with. And BYU, you know, lower 30s in, in quality drive ratio and in their EPA per play margin. But this, like this line was at five even just on Wednesday. And now it's all the way up at six and a half. Like I, I'm going to roll BYU because I think this turns into a rock fight here. Like I, it, this feels like a field goal game. This feels like a 21-17 kind of game. And I'll I'll take the points there, even on the road, uh, because I don't think BYU likes the taste of that loss in their mouth from last week against Boise. Yeah, so that's where I'm going. I, I love what Dave Aranda is doing. Okay, I think what he's doing is remarkable and unbelievable, and he should be commended for it. And and. It's a little unpredictable. Nobody saw him being this good this early. This early. But BYU is a different beast. What we saw last week at BYU is not the BYU football team we've seen all year long. Do you think that two weeks in a row they're going to turn the football over a bunch and commit a bunch of penalties? Because if they don't do that, even Baylor can win this game and not cover. Yes, I agree. I agree 100%. So, I just, I, I don't. That, that's just it. What we saw from BYU last week is, is, is an anomaly. It's not, it's not what BYU is because they haven't done that all year long. Yeah. No, you're, you're not wrong about that. You are not wrong. So we're both riding BYU plus six and a half. Uh, Baylor can absolutely still win this game. But this, like I said, this feels like a rock fight. This feels like two teams that like to get down in the mud. And, uh, and I will take it to be closer than a touchdown for sure. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.